Zion National Park will celebrate its 100th birthday in 2009 and the place will be jammed with tourists. But right now, December, January are the two quietest months. A great time to visit. Uh, it's breathtaking. Uh, we haven't spent any time in Utah before, so uh, the kids love it. And we need to get some hiking boots and come back here every year, I think. We are very impressed. It is spectacular. It's also a lot scarier than I had realized. <laughs> really, yeah? <huh? laughs> The Carlton family of Las Vegas lives just three hours from Zion, but are making their first trip to Utah's National Park. Um, I like the scenery over there. Why? What about it? <laughs> it's really pretty. Any direction, there is plenty of pretty scenery. Those of us who live so close to Zion Park are lucky. We can visit during the off-season, which may just be the best season. A fall rainstorm shrouds the great white throne in clouds while the rain, unable to penetrate the slick rock, pours off the canyon rim in hundreds of wispy waterfalls. After the Thanksgiving weekend bump, the crowds have vanished and the trails are virtually empty. And the Zion Trails offer something for just about everyone, from 83-year-old Leonard Montalano, who took his time but made it to the dramatic canyon overlook to 15-month-old Kenneth Lehman waddling along the paved gateway trail. It's an excellent place to bring the kids. I came here all the time when I was a kid, and I like to share that experience with my kids. They had a good time uh, setting uh, leaf traps and all sorts of good times with uh, yeah. Grandma and Grandpa. To really escape the crowds, the Laymans have left the boys with Grandma, and with extended family are heading out on the 10-mile-long remote East Rim Trail. Park regulations preclude us from taping in the backcountry, but the laymans will share their snapshots and memories. Well, I thought it was nice because John and I we could go at our own pace. We didn't have to worry about going you know, too fast for some people, too slow for other people, and we could just stop and enjoy the scenery. Well, eight and a half miles, we saw two other hikers in the, uh, on the trail. It was nice just to get out and be by ourselves. I wouldn't take the kids on uh, the hike that we did today, but there's plenty of hikes that kids can do and, and have a fun time. From the east entrance, the trail crosses a high ridge blanketed with an early dusting of snow, then off the mesa into Echo Canyon. Complete sense of openness. You can stop and it's just dead silent until the wind comes uh, rustling through the trees or through one of the canyons. And other than that, there's, it's just you and nature and you have nothing else out there. The East Rim connects with the Observation Point Trail through a dramatic narrows in Echo Canyon. Wow. I think I liked the slots the most. They were pretty impressive. Um, hard climb up and down, but all in all worth it. But our favorite trail is Angel's Landing, a 1,500-foot climb up a sheer fin in the middle of the Zion Canyon. Chains and handrails add a measure of security for the acrophobic. Oh, this is the best five-mile hike in the world. Uh, in fact, it, uh, it, it seems scary, but they, uh, if, if you're careful, everything's good. It's scary. It's scary. I'm glad that it's not windy. I'm glad that there's no snow or ice. I'm glad that it's nice and clear, calm. It soothes my nerves as I go up the steep terrain. The Zion Narrows of the Virgin River is one of the world's great hikes, but you may want to wait for five or six months, November, December, a little too chilly to be getting wet. Boy, the intense autumn blue sky, the Dixie sun blasting off the sandstone. Tour buses are gone. We've got the trails to ourselves. It's just a fantastic time to visit Utah's Red Rock Country. For At Your Leisure, I'm Ray Stein in Zion National Park.